Hi everyone, my name is Simon. I am the Managing Director of CSCI Technology. It's great to be here at the Hong Kong FinTech Week again, which has been the third year that CSCI made an appearance. CSCI is a professional tech firm focusing on Chinese onshore and offshore bonds with our unique data terminal DMI. We aim to improve the transparency and the liquidity of Chinese fixed income assets. Last year, we have been through an unusual year due to the pandemic. And this year, we are also going through a very volatile financial market. Following, I'm going to share some of my observations about how we help our clients in this new trend. So firstly, we found that the Chinese government has adopted various channels to participate in offshore markets and also allows foreign investors to participate in the domestic market through Bond Connect. Until September 2021, the government has announced measures to open up the South Bond link, which will further encourage domestic investors to participate in investing overseas fixed income assets. We believe that the China fixed income asset will be more favored by domestic and the foreign investors under the active promotion of the government, as well as the unique attraction of Chinese assets in the global market. Under this new trend, the DMI will provide the market with more timely and transparent market information to help our clients have every free access to the market data without any information barrier. Second, we witness a very fragmented market data between onshore and offshore market. More and more experienced asset managers are now managing to leverage their credit analysis by utilizing a one-stop data platform, which is very demanding and popular. Let me give you some examples. When I talk to some issuers on shore, I found that they are quite concerned about the comparison of the issuing cost between onshore and offshore. From a sell side perspective, the bankers need a tool that can directly calculate the bond issuer cost in onshore and offshore market, which is a very common demand, especially for the sell side execution teams. In the secondary market, investors need more tools to help with price discovery and the price improvement. Moreover, investors will have more investment demands such as uh, dual market arbitrage in the future. In addition, we have also built a complete and a mass industry database, including LGFVs and the real estate data to help investors do in-depth industry research. The third, the offshore investors are in need of more data sources. In fact, especially after post-crisis, the bond market in the US, Europe, and China are extremely transparent. You name it, the CFAT, tracks or trees, which we are familiar with, have greatly promoted transparency in price by recording the price required by the regulation. The price data of Chinese offshore bond market is more than a rigid demand for investors. In the past few years, DMI has built the most professional information platform in the Chinese offshore bond market. In the future, we will provide more valuable services for the market by the construction of trading data. Under the historical opportunity of Chinese asset integration among onshore and offshore markets, CSCI technology will closely follow the needs of our clients and investors and to make uh, more efforts to data generating. We hope to work with you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Gary. I'm the Managing Director of China Merchant Securities Asset Management. DMI has helped our investment business a lot more than we expected, of which we have very frequent use. As a supervisor, I'm really open to any terminal that can help streamlining our research and analysis. I normally check for the new issuance on the primary market in sector, which is very timely and have a full historical record. My team found the credit analysis feature of the LGFE sector particularly useful because some of these data can be very hard to find and also requires a lot of manual maintenance. 
DMI have saved them a lot of time and effort in this regard. Besides, we use DMI to keep up to date with the latest news of the market. DMI news have a big influence among investors, of which we try to leverage as much as possible, especially during volatile markets. We really look forward to more powerful tools coming from DMI. My name is James Tian, and I'm a portfolio manager from Fosun Honey Securities. Uh, I've been using DMI since 2020, and the function in this platform that helps me most is the real estate sector and the local government funding vehicle map. And um, actually, before I use DMI, I have to build up and maintain an internal database on those issuers fiscal information and financial information but now with the help of DMI I can largely rely on the an external database and this saved us a lot of time and on the data collection and the data consolidation work uh, so that makes me focus more on the analysis part a very impressive design in DMI is, is based on a web version so that we don't need to install or download anything to the computer we can directly access the platform through an Internet Explorer. And another impressive design is the function of local government funding vehicle map. And it actually has a very strong visual impact and it's very straightforward in terms of the geographic information. And this way is truly the typical way we evaluate the creditworthiness of those issuers. At last, I think DMI has already successfully differentiated itself from its competitors in the Hong Kong market. In the future, I hope it could carry on and develop itself into a leading investment service provider in global market. Uh, my name is Ke Chen. I'm the Chief Analytics Officer at Poyo International. Poyo International is a rating agency based in Hong Kong. Uh, we are providing uh, quality ratings using global standards ranging from uh, government ratings, financial institution ratings, uh, to corporate ratings. Uh, we are focusing on both China's onshore and offshore bond market and trying to bridge the information gap between the international investors and uh, Chinese credits. Uh, one of the biggest pain points uh, for conducting credit research on Chinese bond markets is the lack of uh, reliable and comprehensive uh, credit data. Uh, I would say that uh, using DMI platform really solved the problem uh, by providing comprehensive Chinese uh, bond market data on a single platform. Uh, using DMI allowed our uh, credit analysts to reduce their research time uh, by not having to search for data from different sources. Uh, so the credit analysts can stay informed and focus on where uh, they're really adding value to the uh, bond market. Uh, DMI is uh, extremely relevant to uh, Chinese bond market. It's not only uh, provide uh, timely news and market data for all bonds issued in uh, Chinese onshore and uh, offshore uh, bond market, uh, but it also provides uh, credit analysts and analysis and the research uh, based on AI or from uh, credit experts. It also gives you uh, market sentiment uh, through the movement of uh, bond prices and uh, even from the discussions in WeChat groups. Another advantage of DMI is the user-friendly interface. You don't have to uh, memorize all different shortcuts or to be trained to use the platform. Everything is straightforward and easy to use, so we don't have to spend a lot of time uh, getting familiar with the different systems, and our analysts can quickly find everything they need for uh, their credit research. Yeah, you can avoid dealing with different data or research providers by using a solution that has uh, integrated uh, multiple products into one platform like DMI. Uh, Leverage DMI's unified analytics platform allows a small credit rating team like ours to have uh, an outsized impact on Chinese uh, credit markets. Hi, I'm an analyst from Bob Scotia devoting to industrial analysis of Chinese bank LGFVs and China higher bond and present. Now, I have been using DMI for nearly one year. It acts like a tracker of Kung Fu bonds markets for me because the news about LGFVs and financial institutions is so timely from DMI that I can receive lots of hot spots and analysis in real time. Especially, the function of LGFV maps is very great and powerful. I can easily find the financial situations of individual problems very clearly. Finally, looking forward to DMI's follow-up. Hope there will be more and more new functions provided for us. I'm Liu Kui of Tianfeng International Securities. 
Chinese dollar debt is a very vertical bound field, and DIMI happens to be a good hand in this vertical field. DIMI's tracking of the primary and secondary markets of US dollar bonds and the professional integration of urban investment and real estate provide strong data support and services for our investment institutions. Regardless of the comprehensiveness and depth of information or the professionalism of product functions, combined with our team's experience, DMI is undoubtedly the most worthy of our choice among all software. Hi, I'm Wendy, the fund manager of CNBC Capital Asset Management. DMI is generally useful for my working. I usually pay a lot of attention to China property and urban investment industry. Then I found that information on urban investment and property included in DMI is very powerful compared to the market. Some relevant information about district and country level urban investment companies can also be found. In addition, the classification of the urban investment is useful to me. We usually screen some names that meet risk control standards, such as some companies with a rating of 2A or above, which is very convenient. DMI has three forms of product terminal, web page, and app. The terminal and web page are able to provide in depth and comprehensive data and analysis regarding Chinese issued US dollar bonds. Alternatively, the app is convenient for accessing hot news about bond markets in real time. We specialize in Chinese issued US dollar bond market and have built a robust system for data and news. For China's primary US dollar bond market, we have created a designated market news section. Within this section, we track the stages of US dollar bond issuances, from the product roadshow to the official issuance. This includes all newly issued bonds and presents real-time updates. Records of previously issued bonds can be found under the historical issuances section. Additionally, this section can be used to check data for nearly 30 indicators, e.g. issuer rating outlook, issuance type, issuance scale, etc. with one click. This section indicates trade data and bid ask prices in real time for secondary markets. In addition, you can compare both the domestic and foreign bond interest spreads for the same issuer. Therefore, the difference in trends between domestic and overseas bonds can be visually displayed. Beyond being able to show a single bond in detail, this section also compares the price of multiple bonds. It is also worth visiting our Bond News section. This section was built in collaboration with experienced bond market teams and provides first-hand market news on bond issuances, tender releases, transactions, company news, and more. Next, there are also daily summaries of US dollar bond issuances and overseas rating updates, periodic in-depth reports, i.e. weekly, monthly, semi-annual reports on US dollar bonds are also available. We also provide customers with credit analysis information for the real estate industry and LGFVs. The real estate section tracks 260 plus real estate issuers across the market and includes non-listed companies in Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Hong Kong. This section provides 50 plus business and financial indicators, as well as in-depth analysis on companies' project inventories, cash flow quality, financial security, and off-balance sheet risks. Indicators related to China's three red line systems are highlighted in order to determine which issuers are underperforming or over-leveraged. The LGFV analysis section is also an important section that many clients pay close attention to. You can find an urban LGFV heat map in DMI, which visually displays data such as GDP, government debt, hidden debt, and debt ratios across the country. 
the coverage rate of relevant local government data across the country has reached up to 98%. This section measures the comprehensive security of LGFVs through three major indicators, regional economic growth, regional debt, and regional financing. Beyond the sections mentioned above, DMI also has other critical functions, including non-standard financing, curve analysis, and ratings wall. We are also developing more user-friendly tools that will help clients properly analyze the bond market, as well as provide more reliable data support and functional services for investors. We offer six-month free trial accounts for new users, and we look forward to you giving DMI a try.